You can see that this receiver basically sets a pick and gets this receiver wide open for another touchdown. He gets down to the safety's level and takes on the first safety, while the tight end gets to the next level and takes on the next safety, which means I basically get to just walk down the field untouched until I get 20 yards down the field. If we watch the replays, this defender goes across. Once I hike the ball, he just stops. The receiver is still out there. He's still supposed to be covering him, but he's right here in the middle of the field, nowhere near his intended target. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese, as always. RPO plays are some of the hardest plays to stop in Madden 24. And today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best versions of RPO plays, and just trick plays in general, that you guys can run to give you an advantage. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, whether it's top five pass plays, top five defenses, top five blitzes, which is something I typically like to put out throughout the year, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, when it comes to trick plays, you can't find a better playbook the Baltimore Ravens. This is probably the meta when it comes to RPO plays and glitch runs and stuff like that. Now, the two plays I'm going to show you guys are both in the pistol strong slot. The first play I'm going to show you guys is a run play that's in a couple of different formations called the power option. Now, the power option is a very good play. It's a very well-known play. There's a lot of variations throughout the game. This one, to me, is the best because you have two receivers on one side of the field, which means that if they're in a, if your opponent's in a man coverage, like my opponent is here in a man cover one, there is no cornerback holding down this edge. Number two, the reason that I, I chose this play over some other power option plays is because not a lot of other power option plays have a blocking fullback and a tight end on the side that you're traveling, making this one of the better versions. So basically, all I'm going to do here is decide whether to hold it or pitch it with the quarterback. And I'm going to hold it with the quarterback as long as possible. Like right there, that, you know, I'm, I'm running it towards J.J. Watt, which is definitely not the best idea. But if you're going to run this play, you really have to wait until that quarterback is in jeopardy before pitching that ball out with the left button or the L1 button. This play is going to be especially potent against man zero blitzes. But you can see right there, as I got contacted by J.J. Watt, it still let me get the pitch out. So we're going to do that one more time. You can see we get that pitch out last minute. You will get favorable pitch animations. And you can see how the blocking from the fullback and the tight end get down the field to make that a very big play. And if we watch the play, this is why this play works. Number one, like I said, we have a blocking fullback, which most of these formations don't have. He gets down to the safety's level and takes on the first safety, while the tight end gets to the next level and takes on the next safety, which means I basically get to just walk down the field untouched until I get 20 yards down the field for a very easy run. And that might not even be the best play in this formation, as you have a pass play by the name of the Stretch Alert Dragon that really doesn't have a natural defense that stops it. Now, this play here, you have that same element of an outside run, but you also have a slant that beats man coverage and a flat that beats zone. So all you really have to do is read. Is it a man or a zone? If it's a zone, I could basically take that all game, although throwing it that early might not necessarily help out because I do kind of want that guy to basically um, you know, draw on a little bit. And it's not a huge completion. I mean, I'm only getting two to three yards, but that might be the only thing you need. This is a very good goal line concept as you have, you know, even the slant can beat zone. As that was a zone coverage there, but if the if the defender cheats inside like that, you can basically quick hit that all game. You could also take it to the edge if you have good blocking, which obviously, once again, running towards TJ Watt is not going to be the best idea as he's going to be a very disruptive player. But you can see how I can have success with this run play as well as we get close to another 20 plus yard run. I can make this entire video about the Baltimore Ravens, but I want to spread it around a little bit. I do plan on making an ebook, so if you guys want to see more from this playbook, if you want to see me do an ebook, let me know in the comment section, hit the like button. Another really good playbook that has multiple glitchy RPO plays is the Kansas City Chiefs, which is probably why it's one of the metas. And this is another playbook I'm hoping to bring to you guys very soon. The formation I'm going to work out of next is going to be the wing stack week. And the play that I'm going to focus on is the RPO zone alert bubble. This play here really has two different options as the running back is a very good option to swing wide here, especially against something like a cover three, which is basically what the, the defense was in on the very first play. If we go to the replay, you can see once again, cover three cornerbacks typically drop back. This might have been a man coverage, though, as he sucks himself into the blocking, essentially giving up a huge lane to the outside. You have two options here, though. You have the handoff, which is best against cover three, cover four defenses, man coverages where there's not a cornerback on the right side, 
or you have the screen, which on this play won't work because you can see that there's three defenders over the two receivers. You only have one blocking receiver. So knowing that, you really have two choices. I mean, you could try to motion this tight end across and try to get him to um, to help out. But you can see by motioning him across, we actually expose it's a man coverage. And once again, against man coverages, since the two receivers on the left side are typically going to be holding both of the cornerbacks, now we have nobody on the right side. So I can basically take this handoff once again. And as long as we get to the edge, there's nothing out here to stop us from getting very big gains. But one of the best things about this run is that we have such a wide looping run on the one side and on the other side we have what's essentially a you know a wide throw to the flat which is also a very immediate throw making it a very easy catch and run so you really have an explosive play on both sides against multiple types of defenses now there's also a very well-known play going back as far as when it was implemented in the gun deuce close and the play is going to be a very well-known play by the rpo read flat wheel now this play here really well known glitch play from last year typically that was about the uh the tight end here which for some reason against man coverage a lot of times will force the man defender to blitz on cover three like that play was and that right here you can see the the man defender did drop down you can see how this guy still gets wide open this is a very glitchy formation i don't necessarily like all the other rpo plays i'm showing you are basically just regular rpo plays where this one feels like an absolute glitch that they should have passed a long time ago but that's why this play here is in this video because i do want to show you guys some of the best plays the second best route though might be the best route now in this uh this court or this post route that the b receiver is running as you can see he typically gets open right up the cover three seam he'll get open pretty immediately against just about any zone coverage in the game and if it's a man coverage a lot of times the man defender will be outside to the point where you can make that happen although there uh you can't always just throw it blindly as you can see the man defender was on the inside which is why that got intercepted so you can see here i mean the, the tight end is still a very official route as those two routes actually got in each other's way and that's why the defender uh, was nowhere to be found if we watch the replay you can see that this uh receiver either i don't know if he was if he was jamming him at the line or if he just basically sets a pick and gets this receiver wide open but that's another reason why this play works so well against man coverage is as he gets wide open for another touchdown this next play is very similar but it comes from a different playbook in the buffalo bills and this is going to be out of the pistol open flex close this is another play that i put out last year and they still haven't patched it in fact ea basically made it to the point where you can't run Run these plays in competition plays like rpo plays like i'm going to show you right now in the rpo read flat wheel this play here works for a different reason the b route here in motion if it's a man coverage like right here as that defender follows you can see the defender stops about halfway through allowing me to just complete this wide open pass to the receiver for a catch and run if we watch the replay as this defender goes across once i hike the ball he just stops the receiver is still out there he's still supposed to be covering him but he's right here in the middle of the field nowhere near his intended target this play also gets open with the exact same route underneath a lot of zone coverages as you can see right here we have a zone but for whatever reason a lot of times the the cornerbacks are programmed to zone chuck at the beginning of a play which means that they won't react to the receiver right away and that's exactly what happens on this route is the cornerback in that area is it might be a cover too is too busy jamming and chucking this receiver off the line to the point where he doesn't even see the receiver on the other side from him basically getting wide open in the flat so all you really have to do at that point is just bullet and pass lead outside and you'll get open underneath just about any zone coverage in the game as well now based off of the fact that this uh, is also a run play you don't typically have time to wait for the other receivers to materialize giving you really only one option to throw to in the b route but you can also throw to the tight end a lot of times in kind of like a shovel pass which gets off fast enough that you won't get a penalty or you can let the run play play out. A lot of times it's best to just hold the A button and give it to the running back and go in the opposite direction to get what you can, which is another wrinkle in this play. If you decide to run it, it becomes a regular read option play where you have to watch the read defender in Mika Parsons, where if he follows the running back there, a lot of times you can just take off with the quarterback and there's nothing really out here. As you can see, we can get really big run plays that way. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more uh, RPO play videos, more uh, trick play videos, more top five videos of any kind let me know in the comment section make sure to be a subscriber as i like to put these out from time to time i typically do top five glitch routes which i haven't done in a while uh, so that'll probably be the next one i do once i finish my 49ers ebook if you guys didn't see my last glitch routes video i will have that popping up on screen just click the links as i'm sure it'll help with your game and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below